So let's talk about Beyond Comprehension then. We, mm. we said uh, earlier on uh, that you hit rock bottom when mm -hmm. the whole world fell apart, yes, fi both financially mm -hmm. and, and artistically, the whole mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of the songs on the album were, were born out of that. How, how did that affect your relationship with God? Was it, was it, because these kinds of bad circumstances, mm -hmm. You know, when bad things happen to people, right. when it comes to God, they either seem to push people away from God right. or they draw people closer to God. Obviously, mm. in your case, it drew you closer to God. Did you have to dig in to, to make it? With me, in terms of that, I knew where my help would come from in terms of me losing everything because, first of all, had not been for God, I wouldn't have had it in the first place. The words say God gives and he take it away. Yes, he is from the beginning. For the earth is the Lord and the fullness of all the world and they that dwell therein. And the point on the matter is, because that happened had nothing to do with God, because the person who made mm. me homeless, it was that person that did it. Mm. God opened my eyes and said, you know what? You need to know who your friends are. Because I'm taking you from this level of reason why you're going through this, so when you get to where you need to be, you need to be around people who care about you. And I don't, you don't need to be going into this thing blind, so what we need to do, we're going to do an elimination process. And that's the way I looked at it. It was eliminating all the bad things that were around me. And it just opened my eyes to the fact that, you know, no matter what we go through, and we be true to the God we serve, the one we, we believe in, that God will make everything all right. And my mother often say, always pray, don't allow the Lord to protect you. Don't fall into the hand of your enemy. And I often pray to, uh, to make my enemy my footstool. In terms of if that if that wouldn't have happened, then I wouldn't be where I am now. I had to go through. Sometimes you got to go through in order to get to where mm -hmm. we're trying to go in life. And although it was an awful experience, but I'm not angry with God. By it's, no means. It strikes me that you have you have this kind of dual career. Mm -hmm. So the music that you've made on uh, on Beyond Comprehension strikes me as being music, mm -hmm. which is really what you want to do. Yes, it is. And, and you do the kind of tribute thing and the oh, yes. and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. uh, you have a bit of fun with that. Obviously, you enjoy yeah, doing it. But yeah. that, but that's mm -hmm. what that's what's kind of mm -hmm. bankrolled right. being yeah. able to mm -hmm. pursue your artistic things. It's yeah. a bit like a film actor who who does blockbuster movies mm -hmm. in order to make nice the, the real independent films that they really right. care about. Mm -hmm. it, it's mm -hmm. that kind of deal, isn't it? It is. It is because doing the tribute thing it afforded me an opportunity to travel to go abroad because quite naturally, you know, where I was, I mean, you, you do a gig coming from like Miami, you're not going to be compensated for that. You just getting the stuff just to do, get the exposure. I always wanted to travel and I found it was very surprising to me that pe it was a big market here for soul music and I got a great appreciation for all the soul legends and all of those type of guys because um, if it had not been for people like that, the things that we enjoy in R&B music and all this other music, it wouldn't be possible if they had not uh, put the things into the music they put into. And I take great pride in it and representing them when I do a performance and, and just pay tribute to that. And it's paid the way to be able to afford me an opportunity to pay for the album uh, Beyond Comprehension. So with the album, uh, how do you see the ministry aspects of what you do? The ministry aspect of it, I think it's, it's a great uh, ministry aspect being that we coined it as inspirational soul. And it's not in terms of speaking so uh, over in terms of pushing it down people's throat because sometimes you, we, we can meet people who are heavy in the church. Some people look at it being fanatical and some people can be quite self-righteous in terms of their belief. I've always wanted to have a music that had a message that spoke to the masses because I, I, I won't disrespect anybody in terms of what they believe and how they go about their daily life because one thing we share in common that everybody trying to reach that particular goal and that's the reason why I chose the, the term beyond comprehension and you'll find if you listen closely to the lyrics and the actual song beyond comprehension it speaks of the way things are in the world today it doesn't matter where we are what race or what nationality we go through if a natural disaster happened right now what can we do without the aid of the almighty what can we do what can we possibly do physically we can't stop the winds from blowing we can't stop the earth from shaking and it just let us know that even though we go far beyond that, we need to look to a power that's far greater 
than we are. And and that's the, the thing. I think and that that alone, and because the music is the way it is, it, it goes into so many different genres and so many different stations to pick it up because of it. It's not too too hardcore in terms of uh, the message. Freddie Lee's my guest in the program, Beyond Comprehension is the album. Uh, we'll play another track and then uh, Freddie will talk to us about touring uh, in the UK and we'll give you a website if you want to find out some more, inf more information about him and all that kind of stuff and we'll, we'll wrap it up. But let's play another track. <laughs> so this is Mike River in for uh, Nikki Tapper and uh, in this hour of the program I'm going to be talking to Faith Child uh, who is uh, a London based rapper and has got a new album out called Illumination. We're going to get him on the telephone in about a quarter of an hour or so. Uh, so Freddie Lee has been with us, and uh, you have a website, so you better tell us where, where people can go and find out about that. Okay, that's at www.freddieleepeterkin.com, and all information that you may be seeking is on that website. Peterkin, so you've, you've actually yeah. put the Peterkin back in there? Yes, I have. Yes, okay, I have. so it's P-E-T-E-R-K-I-N. That's it. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, so freddieleepeterkin.com. Mm -hmm. why, why aren't you Freddie Peterkin then for your music? You know why? It is so difficult for people to pronounce my name. They call me everything but Peterkin. Okay. And I like, you know what, let's just make, make it short. Just say Freddie. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good enough answer. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and was FreddieLee.com already gone? Uh, no, I actually, uh, it, it, was, it was available. But I just say I just chose to do Freddie Lee Peterkin because a lot of the stuff that I already have listed on uh, like Google and stuff it would come up on the Freddie uh, Lee Peterkin anyway. Okay. So it's best to keep it Freddie Lee Peterkin. Okay. You're not deliberately trying to confuse my listeners. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to be touring later this year. Yes, I'm touring later this year. Uh, I think I got like the right now at the moment like 70 days. 70 dates? 70 dates. Are these already. gospel dates? Or uh, they're a mixture of both. A mixture of both. Right. Mixture of both uh, and it's like 70 dates. Actually, I'm performing this weekend at one of the Warner Resort hotels. Uh, and I think it's in Great Yama, uh, a place called Gunton Hall. And it's already sold out. Right. And um, that'll be on from Friday. It's a three day retreat. So you're looking at Friday, Saturday. And Sunday. Wow, it keeps you keeps you off the streets. Yeah, yeah. it does. <laughs> this is the goal these days. So that's uh, good. Uh, uh, okay, well, it's nice to see you. It's uh, a pleasure. So, FreddieLeePeterkin dot com. People can buy the album there. They can also get it at Amazon and places like that, can't they? It's, yeah, it's just yeah. available everywhere. Really. It's all over. Yes. So look, look out for Beyond Comprehension and mm -hmm. uh, get hold of a copy. Oh yes. And thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, Mike, for having me. Nice to see you. Okay. I was, I, I, my claim to fame when it comes to Freddie Lee <laughs> is that I was the first person to play Freddie Lee's music on UK media. Yes, sir. That was me. Uh -huh. <laughs> How cool am I? <laughs> uh, we've got